Aries, hi. Welcome to your love reading. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. A general reading, guys. So this may or may not resonate with every Aries watching this video. If you do need a personal reading, that information is going to be down in the description box below. Okay. <coughs> Overall energy. We do have the Sun in reverse here. There is a lack of clarity, okay? Someone feels like they've left, they've been left in the dark. You could be waiting for a commitment. You could be waiting for uh, someone to come towards you uh, with a brand new beginning, which they are, okay? We do have the Ace of Pentacles as the current situation. So there is a solid new beginning coming in for you, okay? However, because of lack of communication, maybe you guys are in separation, maybe you guys are in no contact, but then it's like, you know, everything's in the dark. Everything's left in the dark. Could be someone who's operating more from their ego and being a little childish and kiddish okay but you do have a lot of love for this person okay you're just not trying to show that love you're suppressing your emotions right now you love this person to the moon and back but you're trying to give it a more mature look and trying to keep your emotions to yourself because you cannot walk away from this person you could have tried to walk away like i see right in the past that could have been something which was a very spiritual connection okay you could even have learned your lessons in the past and walked away from this person <clears throat> I do see communication coming in though, okay, but this communication is coming in, but there is someone here in this environment who still feels that self-doubt. This is someone who's not using their skills and abilities, okay, to the utmost, utmost potential to make things happen. They do have a lot of opportunities uh, around them to make it happen, all right, but it's just that their ways, their approach towards you is always like very manipulative or someone who's just got a lot of self-doubt like is aries gonna take me back now you know are they gonna accept this brand new beginning this practical beginning that i want that i'm wanting to offer this person you definitely are stuck on this person this person's stuck on you but i think this person is just trying to figure a way out of how to come towards you because i don't think like you're keeping your option uh, you're, you're keeping this uh, the lines of communication open with this person okay what's the sun in reverse of cups in reverse yeah like i said right there's a lot of depression that you're going on right now in a very depressive state right now okay you're emotionally shut down not wanting to be vulnerable there was a relationship you saw a lot of potential in but now that's no longer happening okay not wanting to open up that's a lot of sadness what's the ace of cups in reverse I mean, the tough part is that you love someone so much, but when it's like, you know, when you're supposed to shut it down and not being able to show this person, you know, your emotions. What's the Ace of Cups in reverse? What? <clears throat> Why the Ace of Cups in reverse? So, you're stuck on this person. Could be that the person that you're dealing with, right, is holding back or you're holding back or you could be dealing with someone, you know, who was always very shut off emotionally. Could be dealing with someone who was not really into that commitment thing okay someone who always wanted to be single they thought they had a gift of the gap someone you know who always thought they could have they just had like their way around you you know they could say whatever they want and get whatever they want but um i do see you I, I do see someone returning back to you okay this person cannot move on you can't move on so yeah you're both on the same page that ways but you know what more than anything you can't move on, but what I'm getting from them is like this person is not being able to... They need to transit, you know, there needs to be a transition in this relationship, okay, where they can move forward towards you, but before they move forward towards you, there is something that they need to change. There is some change that is needed here, okay, which they are not willing to do because it pushes them outside their comfort zone. What's the hierophant? What's the hierophant in the past? King, queen of wands in reverse <clears throat> could be another person involved here with the queen of wands in reverse but i feel like you backed out from a commitment okay or there was um something that you were very very committed to once okay in the past year but you just completely backed off you just pulled back your energies you stopped taking action you were very very laid back you know could be someone you're dealing with who was um two ways either this is you or this was someone you're dealing with who just did not take proper action towards you okay someone who you felt was constantly playing with your emotions what's the queen of wands in reverse i mean in the past also this person refused to make those changes and they still kind of are what's the queen of wands in reverse 
moon and that's why everything was left in the dark everything was unknown the moon and the sun in reverse same thing right lack of clarity that that illumination that epiphany is not there that clarity things that are hidden were still dark it was still hidden in the past and that's where there was a lot of stress anxiety but a lot of fear of the unknown in the past but again you didn't know where what was leading where and that's why you probably copped out or because this person wasn't taking action but at the same time you felt it was a very spiritual connection okay so that's something that misled you that's something that gave you mixed signals okay <clears throat> star but however this was someone who you had a wish fulfillment this was someone you put on a, you put on a pedestal okay you thought this uh, this was a a situation or a connection that was very very destined and fated what's the ace of pentacles in the current situation someone's watching <laughs> They're looking at you from a distance, okay? Either you have a beginning somewhere else or this is this person who's wanting to come towards you with this practical new beginning, okay? The Ace of Pentacles is again, it is a commitment, but it is again like, you know what, like, all right, you know what, let's really, let's restart this connection. But this time, let's start it with not emotions, not with, um, not only with communication and clarity, not only with passion, but this time, let's start it with something tangible, okay? Something that we can sustain in, something that's, um, uh, that gives you a little bit of security and stability. Not saying that this person is coming in with a marriage offer, but this is what it could lead to if there is a lot of effort, investment, energy put in. To this okay the ace of pentacles is um it's a small seed right it's a gift from the universe right and it's going to take a lot for you to nurture this connection <clears throat> and someone's watching you from a distance whether you know this or not okay what's the page of swords this is watching spying stalking what's the page of swords looking at your social media but yeah i think this is somewhat i, I don't think you're putting effort into this anymore again king of cups here we have the king of cups twice here either this is both of you which i don't <clears throat> think it is but yeah again i'm getting you there is a lot of love here but you refuse to put in the work into this connection like yeah you can watch all you want that's what your energy is you can watch all you want but i'm probably not you're literally focused on anything but this connection right now because this person probably put you in the dark throughout could be a third person involved here with the queen of wands here she is usually a third person here it doesn't have to be right but yeah someone could be jealous but there is a lack of effort here right now again one person is looking and they want this with you but they're watching you from a distance probably waiting for the right time to come in but there's one person here is could be you probably who's refusing to put in the work because of fear of lacking reciprocity okay you don't know if this person is going to put into the work put in the work this time or not or is it always going to be you is it still going to be you putting in all the work and this person does nothing about it what's the knight of swords you have communication coming in in the near future someone's rushing in who's the knight of swords <laughs> again if you guys have been in separation, right, there's someone who's coming out of isolation ready to talk to you. This person's done a lot of thinking, a lot of intro self-introspection, a lot of what, where, when, how, why. A lot of thinking has been done, okay? Someone who's been thinking very logically about the situation and now they're coming out of isolation. They're ready to get back to you and talk to you, okay? And they're rushing in. They're rushing with some communication. I feel this person has had a lot of time. They could have, they could have put things on hold, Things would have been stagnant for a very long time. Okay, again, this is also lack of action. But yeah, they're coming in. They've tried to have a different point of view and they're ready to um, release themselves, you know, literally like, you know, like literally unstuck and coming in. What's the hermit in reverse? This trying to see things from your point of view now. What's the hermit in reverse? They see th they're seeing this connection in a different point of view, in a different perspective. What's the hermit in reverse? yeah see someone who you've had a lot of false starts with right <clears throat> this is someone you know who you could have given a lot of chances okay to come correct towards you but they didn't now they're watching you now that you put you know like i'm literally getting someone who's like you know what i'm done with this bullshit i'm no more investing my time and energy you're no more my passion i'm gonna go after what i want because you wanted something committed with a higher event or you wanted something traditional or 
you looked at this correction as something very spiritual something very divine something very fated something very, which was meant to be maybe you put in your all maybe you were the one who is very committed in the relationship but then again things were always in the unknown it was always that gray area and that's something that you never wanted now they're coming in with this offer okay they're watching you but i don't think you're interested in putting in the work probably that's why they're getting drawn towards you because you've completely withdrawn your energies you've pulled back retreated your focus is not them I'm trying to check on you what you're up to but anyways they're coming in with some communication <clears throat> this is going to be very unexpected it's going to shock you but yeah someone someone's coming the ghost is back this is someone who's um, been deceptive in the past you know seven of swords energy and reverse though someone who's feeling guilty been deceptive in the past who's not been clear about their intentions or someone who's been hiding their feelings or someone who's you know always had the feelings but they've been suppressing their feelings for you it's all coming out in the open which i like that's the king of cups that's how you see yourself why the king of cups what's the king of cups same ten of swords in reverse you're trying to heal from this relationship okay you're trying to get over this <clears throat> connection and wanting to move on because you this person has left you very backstrapped betrayed high and dry for sure uh you could have manifested this person or you know you could have literally waited for this person to come in towards you for a very long time again with the hangman it shows me that this was a relationship that was on a pause for a very long time okay but i guess you took that pause as an ending and now you're ready to release that pain you don't want to put yourself in that place which gives you a lot of agony a lot of pain a lot of suffering you're ready to release yourself from that what's the ten of swords into verse <clears throat> like you literally i'm seeing you have your um you have your emotions in check your head and heart are in balance you've mastered your emotions so probably earlier you didn't probably earlier you were the one who was very clingy needy you you know every single time this person would do something wrong and it would just completely shake your foundation okay but yeah now you're very i'm getting experience because the king of cups is a very wise person right they learn from their experiences that's what i'm getting here very balanced look very balanced uh, um, you have a very balanced approach towards the towards the situation although you cannot move on you'd love for this person to come back you'd like to come back you cannot move on even if you tried but yeah you're not showing it what's the 10 of swords in reverse you're not showing it and that's what's confusing this person that's why this person is watching you because you refuse to put in the work you're very focused on your career your work your goals you're being very selfish earlier they were very selfish now you're being selfish <clears throat> you're not offering this person that stability security that you once did neither are you giving in the passion nor are you giving it that stability that kind of commitment that they saw in you earlier you're being very stubborn very stubborn this time okay you have trust issues with this person there's been a breakup separation like i said before right i mean it was like an amazing soulmate connection but i'm forced to say that there is a lot of love here but it, something tells me that you guys are just not seeing eye to eye right now okay so i'm getting that you were the one who was constantly pursuing this relationship only because they see this as a very masculine energy and this person was someone very feminine very laid out laid back now that you're letting this go right you know more putting your effort into this they're wanting to come in with that effort but again they're very careful about what they say they're watching they're going to take their own time but regardless i think right now they're probably watching but in the near future if you continue to do this if you continue to not put in the work they're going to come in they're going to come out of their shell and they're going to come and talk to you and they're going to um literally they're feeling guilty they're returning back that's for sure that is if you continue to stay in your corner <clears throat> it's like literally i'm getting if you don't do the talking that's fine they will regardless they will because right now you're very focused okay on healing this like whatever happened happened you want to put the old things back okay you want to move forward uh, of course again you have a lot of stuff don't get me wrong but again you're like well if it has to happen it will okay but right now i have no time you know i got no time for this shit who's this magician in reverse heading in your environment that you don't see coming who's the magician in reverse see someone who you had a break up with they're coming back they're coming back very slow moving energy you could be dealing with this person you know who is like very very slow towards you 
and you'd be like you know what like i don't even know if you're in this relationship with me if this connection is getting anywhere because they were just slow other they didn't i'm i'm getting this person lack that motivation that goal to put in the work okay probably because you were putting on all the work all this while all right but yeah this is someone who wants to uh, come in towards you but again magician in reverse right this person has a lot of doubt if things are going to work out they can make it happen they can make it happen but the thing is that that confidence they lacking that self confidence okay they feel the need to manipulate you manipulate the situation in order for you to get back what's the two of cups in reverse i mean they again they have a trick up their sleeve again the magician in reverse yet yeah, it's it, it, it's like a con man someone who's manipulative someone who's deceptive someone who's wearing a false mask but again you're in love with this person okay you're in love with this person i feel this person is now coming in and they're ready to be with you what's the two of cups in reverse they want to give up their old ways what's the two of cups in reverse what's the two of cups in reverse it is the magician in reverse but again it's telling me um say nine of pentacles right this is someone who has everything that they need okay this could be someone who always wanted to be again there was a lot of love here but this is someone who always was very afraid of losing their independence they're coming in to express their love they're expressing their love they're coming in to be vulnerable fast communication online communication quick communication could be living at a distance from you okay i think this person with the nine of pentacles they realize your worth they realize your value they realize you're not going to give a shit to them if this is if this is their ways if this is the on approach that they're going to make towards you with the seven of swords it's not going to work and they realize your value after this breakup okay they do they have been manipulative in the past etc they're coming in with that energy but again i feel that this person now realizes your value they realize you're okay on your own whether you're with them without them you're not that codependent energy you know you're not clingy needy you know you're someone they look in they look at you in good light okay what's the eight of cups in reverse they they literally i'm getting like someone who feels you don't need them anymore what's the eight of cups in reverse financially independent uh, doing good in your career your goals you're good with your money you're enjoying the best of life chilling with your friends hanging out all that what's the, all that good stuff what's the eight of cups in reverse yeah you can't even move back from this person but now again you just have to i'm getting like that the lovers here right this is a, <clears throat> this is a twin flame connection that's why it's so tough for you you know i mean i can understand what you're going through it's really hard on you to move on from this person maybe you don't even have to but in order for you to make this person realize to be with you on the same page or in order for you to make this person learn their lessons you're going to have to walk away because that's another lesson for you to move on from a relationship that doesn't make you happy you're not being able to do it But well, it is a lesson, okay. And with the emperor, you I feel you're setting healthy boundaries here. You're taking control of your situation, control of your life, control of the love life. You're no longer keeping your boundaries low. You have your guards up. You're gonna teach this person what structure is. You're gonna literally teach this person what commitment means. And you're believe me, the king of pentacles in reverse and the emperor here. Seriously, no shit, bro. You're being logical as fuck. At least with the emperor here, suppressing your emotions. See, there is so much. emotions here right but you're just like you know what come down bro i'm going to straight in this guy or girl whatever it is but yeah you're making boss moves this person is literally this person couldn't have expected you to do this okay they probably thought that you always are going to keep putting in the work why the emperor why the emperor you're being stubborn you want what you want and if you don't get what you want you're ready to walk away uh what's the emperor the eight of swords but there's something that's keeping you stuck on them right look um could be dealing with someone who's emotionally unavailable someone emotionally manipulative too but with the eight of swords yeah, i feel there's something that's keeping you stuck here right you can walk away from this but with the eight of cups here in reverse you can't because it's you're finding it very difficult to walk away from a situation that you're so super invested into You've given it your all, right? You've come to the eight of cups. You're just two cups away from the ten of cups, right? So it's like that close that you are. You wanted your end all, be all with this person. You wanted family, commitment, etc., right? But with the eight of swords, your guys, if you want to walk away, you can. It's not going to be difficult. 
what i don't like here is with the king of pentacles in reverse here, this is you forcing all your energy forcing com completely trying to numb the pain that you're feeling and putting all your energy into your career goals but this is not really a good energy where you're so focused on your career goals because your intention is not to make the money your intention is not to focus on the career your intention out here is more like i want to heal from the pain now we're not talking i don't know when this person's come to, gonna come back everything's unknown i don't know if things are gonna work out it's hurting you're hurting badly right you're reaching a burnout here okay with the eight of pentacles over this could also be reaching a burnout where you're overworking yourself being a workaholic okay working day and night but yeah this is not only bad for your career goals because your intention is not to to focus on the career right your attention is on moving away from that person but it's anyways not helping it's still not helping with eight of swords right? you're making things even worse you can get out of it in a more easier way by getting your energies correct but you're making things even worse the actions are correct but your subconscious mind is still you're still stuck on this person that's why the eight of cups in reverse otherwise you would have walked away what's the likely outcome why is the king of pentacles in reverse as the likely outcome wheel of fortune in reverse i guess um there's someone who's coming towards you the wheel of fortune in reverse is delay right again this person is still not learning their lessons there is a lot of stagnancy between you guys something's uh, uh, it's almost like a cycle that's going and there's a negative pattern that's repeating itself so like i said right magician in reverse they do realize your worth and value right but again two kings here i don't think this is the same person this is you and this is them who's again coming around but without learning their lessons here okay they want to work with you three of pentacles they want to build with you okay but again someone who's just not ready to um cut that pattern out i'm not saying this person is not serious yes they are serious but again magician in reverse seven of swords in reverse this is seven of swords is is a repetitive action right this person keeps repeating that pattern okay they come in they come in towards you they, they they say something that makes you feel like okay this person is genuine this time it's going to work out and then it's like those that, that pattern of false starts and again they disappear again they come back towards you on the same cycle okay what's the wheel of fortune in reverse something's going to need some time what's the wheel of fortune in reverse there are unforeseen negative changes that you're going to be going through so many cards want to come out but they just won't fall out what's the wheel of fortune in reverse this wanted to come out see you're not ready to risk take a risk with this person this person wants a second chance with you yeah they definitely want a second chance with you they want a second opportunity with you they want to work with you with the three of pentacles yeah but you're like no i've had it i'm done done and dusted you're looking again okay, seriously i understand that this is risky business for you okay but again let something run its course this is a very frustrating delay here okay so probably when this person comes in you're going to be like okay like thank god they're coming in but again the way they're coming in is right is again very selfish very greedy you're both mirroring each other that's why we saw the lovers right but the lovers is still on the spread which means there's some more time before you guys get into union it is a twin flame connection agreed but then something's going to take some more time okay there's still some frustrating delays you guys still need to learn your lessons the timing is just not right and there's someone here again who's just not ready for this leap of faith this person still needs some time to grow up still needs some time because they're still stuck on that taking that leaps of doubt here magician in reverse they're constantly doubting themselves if they can make it, make it happen or this is just you who just thinks like you know what fuck it this is very risky business and this person cannot be trusted you have huge trust issues with this person okay and that could be one of the reasons why things don't move forward so yeah take it how it resonates could be you could be them so that's what i have for you aries i hope this reading resonates with you and like share subscribe i'll see you next time bye bye